don't know, dude. I don't know that I'd fucking watch me. I honestly don't. It's Who wants to watch a guy that doesn't know how to build a bike build a bike? What the fuck is the point in that? What am I gonna What am I gonna learn here that I couldn't learn by saying, I don't know, running my head into the wall or huffing a bunch of gas fumes? What the fuck is really? Seriously, what are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's one subject that worries us a lot. That is bicycles. Bicycle riding is a real healthy sport. Bicycles give us pleasure, exercise, take us to school, and often help us earn money. I want to encourage every boy and girl to ride. It helps you grow into strong, healthy men and women. But riding a bicycle can be the most dangerous thing we do. Almost every single time, and I might be, I'm sure I'm not, alone in this, when I hear someone say, well, God, if I can just put it out there and just if I can inspire one person to just... Yeah. Here's a link to my Patreon. Like, it just fucking annoys... Just, I... Who the fuck are you... Who do I think that I fucking am? I'm going to inspire anybody. Like, I... I, I, that, that, that phraseology, it, it fucking, it just, I don't know. I don't know. That, it's, that phraseology I have a weird issue with because I feel strange standing in front of a, somebody with a fucking camera saying, well, yeah, man, if I can just reach one person and inspire them to get up off the couch and do that thing, this will all have been worth it. I mean, I, I don't know. Do I fucking care if you get off the couch and do your shit? Do I care? Is that the point? I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I think that what you said is super fucking noble, but I don't know that that's. I feel like a. I feel like a fucking fraud when I say it. How about that? How about when I say that? I feel like a fucking fraud. Okay. So why put this out at all? Man, if I can just inspire one fucking kid to get up off the couch. <laughs> Each of them had a bicycle, and each took care of his bicycle in exactly the took care of himself. I think once you start answering the, well, I started making this thing because of, uh, I felt there was, a, there was a niche in the market that wasn't being filled, I feel like you're like one step closer to that thing that I hate, which is doing the thing for dollars. Just saying that particular thing of like, oh well, I saw that there was a there was a there was a there was a fucking market of giraffe proportioned individuals that wasn't being serviced by regular bike companies because who gives a shit, fucking gigantor like what you're one percent of the population. I don't give a fuck if your bike doesn't fit right. I'm a jerk off wannabe fabricator, and building bikes is a factor of ten in every direction cheaper, faster than working on cars and you accidentally get exercise as well. And the fact that you've got replica written down the side of your gun. And the fact that I've got Desert Eagle. Point five out. Written on the side of mine. Should precipitate your balls into shrinking along with your presence. Shut up. It's a perfectly fine paint booth. Thank you very much. I had this fucking talk with this dude at work that won't shut up about why couldn't your business have blah, 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 just his big question was, wouldn't it have been cool if your shop could have made enough money that you didn't have to work on all the cars? I didn't fucking start a shop so I could manage a shop. I started a shop because I liked working on cars. Oh, okay, well, wouldn't it have been cool if you made enough money then that you could hire someone to manage the shop? And I was like, well, then I'm still working on other people's shit all day. Well, wouldn't it have been cool then if you could have made enough money, you could hire someone to manage the shop and then to work in the cars and you could have just had your own little space there that you could just do your own stuff. Yeah, fucking imagine how neat that would be. That's, it seems like farther away you get from being by yourself, doing your shit by yourself, for yourself, for the reason that it makes 
nobody else happy but you. I think the more, the farther away you get away trying to do, trying to somehow fucking make that pay, you spend more time just trying to get back around to the ultimate goal of I want to just do my own shit. I'm just trying to, I don't want to, I, I tried the other way and then that doesn't, I don't like that. So if we cut out the bullshit and just skip right to fuck your money, I ain't building you nothing anyway. I'm going to make the things I make for me. That's the point. That's the point. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to find something I can do. Stamp collecting is dull. Uh, cars are too fucking big and too goddamn expensive. It was a great excuse to buy a TIG welder. What kind of jerk off fabricator doesn't want a fucking TIG welder? Um, I like building shit. I like putting stuff together. I've always liked building stuff and putting stuff together. This is a manageable, reasonable scale. And I looked at a bunch of stuff and people said, oh, you can't do that. And that is usually one of the things that would make me go, yeah, watch this. And then I would do it poorly and usually just barely acceptable enough to be like, see? And then um, usually immediately forget and move on to the next thing that I couldn't do and then would do badly. I think the platform needs more hacks. I chiseled most of this fucking garbage off on this device here. Don't ever let it be said that being fucking lazy and using cheap materials never yielded positive results. Looks like a fucking cheerleader exploded on my floor. I've begun to detest the phrase or the word we. Oh, we don't do it that way. Oh, well, we don't do it this way. We don't do it that way. We don't do... Well, fuck you. What do you mean we don't do it that way? That's dumb. Some stupid dipshit decided he was going to do this inside. As a result, I'm going to be picking glitter out of my asshole for the next fucking decade, and they're probably going to find it in my ashes when they cremate my fucking carcass. Shit, I've seen some guys fucking fixing turbos with super glue, and they've got millions of followers, and like... I don't mean fuck-ups. I don't mean people doing dangerous shit. I don't mean rat rods. I don't mean... It's, I don't mean fucking shit for the sake of shit. Like... What if I don't want to do this for money, dude? What if I just want to do this for fun? Now can we do it that way? Like, or do I have to have to be, do we have to be, does everyone trying to dip their toes into whatever the fuck we're dipping our toes in, do we have to be trying to make a living at it? I'm really trying on a personal note to not freak out over every little tiny little fucking thing because perfect is the enemy of good. So good enough. Does the ultimate goal have to be that I am filling that un... I'm, I'm better fucking mousetraps all left and right. Like, does that have to be it? Or can it just be the fact that it's kind of fun? And maybe it doesn't need to serve this gigantic higher purpose besides the fact that it made me feel a little less shitty today. Are you sure that it's on? I don't need to watch one more really, really talented frame builder build frames. That's, you know, I think there's plenty of those too, which I love, don't get me wrong, kind of shit's awesome, but it's daunting if you're trying to look into a thing and you're face, what you're faced with is the two extremes of either complete fuckery or total mastery, it's pretty easy to get a little confused. Weave baskets, plant gardens, hunt deer, I don't give a fuck if there's an internet forum of it that exists, I'm sure it's very much, it's very gatekeepy and so, like, I just, building shit's fun. Building shit's fucking cool, and I, I'm i not trying to fill a niche. I'm not trying to sell a thing. I'm not trying to, I don't fucking care. I don't care. I'd be satisfied, I will be satisfied never having a customer ever again. I just wanted to take a second and make a point here. Um, I, you'd be forgiven for looking around at my surroundings and imagining that I was just sponsored beyond belief and had people throwing money at me left, right, and center, and why I'm saying I like these products is because people pay me to say I like these products. This is not true, dear viewer. Uh, I'm using this shit because I've used a lot of stuff in the past that sucks. I've used things that are good. Uh, I'd like to save someone the time of having to find the stuff that sucks. Sucks. Just, skip the, just cut to the chase. Get the good shit. Look at this Tamco Interco Clear. No shit. Through the cup, you can read this flake on the other side. Through that Interco Clear. Next time you get your house of color mixed up, try that shit with it through a cup. 
Also, ditto, paint huffer. I use paint huffer because it don't fucking fade in our ridiculous UV sun that we have here. I bought other shit, painted it, put it on a roof, and four months later it was bleached. This stuff, years in the New Mexico sun. It doesn't give a fuck, so that's why we use paint huffer, because it works. Okay, hold please. Oh, my son, you said you wanted a pink. Ooh, boo! Holy fuck is that pretty. Hot damn, I hope my neighbors aren't listening. Okay, so we may have the tiniest problem here. Well, that was smart. Uh, unlike the pink bike, which is a which is a hard tail, which is a hard tail bike, meaning it only has a bouncy bit at the front. I'm gonna try to build a bike that has a bouncy bit at both ends. Radical fucking idea, I know. People do it all the time. I mean, that's not that's not the new part. That's not exciting. This is a thing that happens all over the place. I think what's gonna be neat about it is I'm gonna try to build a bouncy bike for the second frame I've ever built. Should end in tears of triumph or of agony. Tears for sure, one way or another. The, the ultimate goal here is I would like to have built, for me, the selfish bastard that I am, I would have liked to have built a short travel, 29 inch wheeled, dual suspension bicycle. That's a, that's a American Sign Language for dual suspension is the fucking two hands. That's the, that's the goal. I think that would be fun. I think, a I think a steel fucking full suspension bike is just awesome. I think they're neat looking. The skinny steel tubing is super fucking rad. Uh, I can build it here in a garage. I don't kind of fucking heat treat it. That's the uh, that, the goal there was at some point I wanted to build my own suspension bike. You're gonna build 15 shitty bikes. I might as well start building shitty suspension bikes if that's the goal. I'm not selling shit. I don't intend to sell shit. It's okay if it's garbage. It doesn't really matter. You learn stuff from garbage. Um, that's how you start. You make good shit. You know, it starts making good stuff. People make a lot of garbage before you have to make something good. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna start making garbage. That's the idea. Uh, we're gonna start making shit. Inspect your equipment, fellas. Keep it in good condition. A good bicycle is something to be proud of. When it's a wreck, well, you just get careless with it. But when it's good, you're going to be more careful. You see? We're here talking about this now. And look at the state of the fucking bench that you're talking about next week. Like, hey, where are we gonna be next week? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll move the rubbing compound. That should make for compelling fucking footage. I don't want 11 minutes of backstory about your canoe or whatever the fuck. Tell me what it is you want. Tell me what it is I asked to answer my fucking question. Answer my question. If you can do it in a fun way, that's great too. But like, answer my goddamn question. Keep doing that thing you're doing. No, where you're making the noises with your mouth, where you're telling me what it is you want to hear. Not the fucking hand gesture, you dipshit. Ah, I swear to God, it's like a fucking claw or something.